Every subsystem conveys different training information and skills. The IMS5 focuses on the workpiece in which a bolt is inserted. First, the system must be put into operation. To do this, you first have to mount, adjust and test pneumatically operated cylinders and valves. The students then have to program the workpiece identification and the workstep monitoring into the system. An additional subject of training for this system is the defining of the process sequence for simple workpiece processing. Finally, the production process sequence must be programmed in manual and automatic operation mode. The IMS-8 is a storage station for workpieces and has a handling mechanism. This mechanism transports the workpieces to their storage location. Again, with this subsystem, the system is first put into operation. This requires the pneumatically operated cylinder and valves to first be adjusted and tested. Then, the process sequence of a high-level rack must be defined. The rack levels must be positioned using sensors. Finally, a sequence of steps and the entire storage process have to be programmed in manual and automatic operation mode. It is the aim of the IMS-8 to classify the workpieces according to colour and material. To do this, the information from IMS-6 testing has to be at hand. The subsystem IMS-11 covers robot-controlled disassembly. Here, the workpieces are conveyed to the disassembly station and disassembled. Then, the workpieces are allocated to the magazine locations. The Kawasaki robot corresponds to modern industrial standards and design. Robot programming is possible with various applications, for example, using the software included via a laptop.